Hey everyone, Caffeine Man here. I am happy to say that today I have a huge announcement for everyone. After nearly three years having this channel, I finally received a sponsorship. Details about that coming right up. Hello again everyone, thank you so much for joining me today, especially for this big announcement that I have. I really do appreciate it. And in today's video, I'm actually going to be breaking it up into three sections because I know that the time of this video may scare some people, so it is broken down into sections. First off, we're going to get it right out of the way and I'm going to tell you who I am sponsored by and what that means for you and for me. Second, I'm going to tell you about how this sponsorship came about, you know, because who doesn't like story time? <laughs> a lot of people don't like story time. That's why I got timestamps. And lastly, the third part, I am going to talk about what sponsorship is in general, just in case you didn't know, because there are a lot of common misconceptions about sponsorship. So I'm going to discuss some of those timestamps and chapters definitely down below so that you can go where you want to go. So after nearly three years, two years, 11 months to be exact, I have earned myself a sponsorship. It was one of my top goals for 2021 and it has finally happened. And when it comes to sponsorship, I, I didn't want to just take any sponsorship that came along. I really wanted to work with a company that I believed in. Therefore, I wasn't going to take anything from the first company that approached me unless I believed in the product. Therefore, I decided I was going to take a look at a company that I wanted to work with, approach them and see what they said. I pretty much felt that since I had hit 30,000 subscribers, I've achieved something with my channel that companies might be interested in. I am happy to announced that the company that has taken me on as a sponsor is C4 Energy. C4 is owned by Nutribolt and Nutribolt also owns Cellucor and Extend. Therefore, I am actually affiliated with all three of those companies. Although primarily, I will be talking about C4 Energy most because that is pro pretty much what my channel is about, energy drinks. But for all of you pre-workout people and so forth, there's also Cellucor and Extend. So what does this mean for you guys? Well, it means that I am going to be able to provide you guys with a coupon code so that you can save money on these products. And that is not a sales pitch because, because I, I am really, I am horrible at sales. Ask me how long I lasted in the insurance business. Whew, yeah, yeah, yeah. I sold insurance or, or did I? Not much. But the truth is the prices on their website are the same, if not better than other websites. And then on top of that, you also get a coupon code. Therefore, you're going to save more money than you would at other websites unless they were running a super, super awesome special. But my coupon code is actually the, the normal price. And I say normally, normally, normally the coupon code is 20% off, which is a great discount. But I came in at a time where they've been doing a lot of unnormal things because for the month of August, they were running a special on their website for 20 5% off and you didn't even need a coupon code. Therefore, in order for C4 to actually make it worthwhile for all the affiliates with coupon codes, they actually increased our coupon code to 30% off. So for the month of August, it was 30% off. And it looks like going into September, uh, there's going to be a couple of weeks where it is still 30% off. So I'm letting everybody know that normally my coupon code is 20% off, but there are going to be times that it's 30% off, maybe 25, maybe 30, depending on what sale is going on on the website. I mean, when you look at it and you look at the math, 30% off is actually better than the BOGO 50s. Yeah, I did the math. I talked about it in a previous video, but yeah, 30% off is a really great discount. As for me, because it's an affiliate link, I do get a small commission from each and every one of those sales. Therefore, I'm saving you money while making a little bit of money to help support the channel. Now, guys, guys and gals and gals, guys and gals, I really, really, really want to make a good impression with C4 because they took a chance on me to sponsor me. And I am a low man on the totem pole when you look at the people that they sponsor. I mean, we're talking Kevin Hart, Lonzo Ball, Ron Everlean, Roman Reigns, Bianca Belair, Mandy Rose, and a whole bunch more. You can check out the website and you can see all the people that they sponsor. And it's a lot to live up to. So I say, let's show them what Caffeine Man Nation is all about. Caffeine Man Nation. You, you don't like that? Uh, fine, I, I just came up with it, but you can edit it out. All right. 
So let's show them what the Caffeine Man community is all about. If you've been considering purchasing a C4 product, or if you need to reorder a C4 product, or you haven't tried C4 yet, and you've watched my videos and said, Caffeine Man speaks very highly of them, and he's not even sponsored by them, uh, I, I am now. So now is the time to purchase your C4. It is 30% off, I know, for the rest of this week, and I believe next week. So I'd really like to show them what I'm capable of and what we're capable love that 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 came off sounding salesy it came off a little salesy but but listen i want to make a good impression that is not salesy that is just a fact and, and i'm not asking everyone who's watching this to go out and buy something because that would be ridiculous i'm just saying if you were thinking of buying it now might be a good time if you're someone who doesn't work out and you don't play games and you don't really drink energy drinks then it doesn't make sense to buy it or even if you don't have that much money to buy it perfectly fine the point was if you were thinking about it. And if you're thinking about it a lot and you decide you want to purchase a lot of stuff, just for the heck of it, you do actually get free shipping on orders over $75. Uh, otherwise, I believe it's only $7 to ship whatever else you're gonna buy. You can double check those facts on the website though. Uh, I, I'm new to this. All right, and I think that actually concludes part one. Thank you so much for joining me. I do appreciate it. I know a lot of people are probably gonna click away right now. It doesn't matter. If you're clicking away, make sure you're clicking over to C4. And actually, it's a weird thing. Not a weird thing. It's a good thing. But if you actually click on the link down below to C4, it automatically adds the coupon code. If you don't use that link, you can use coupon code Caffeine Man. Let's jump into part two. All right, story time. So how did all this come about? Well, like I said, in 2021, one of my goals was to get in a sponsorship with someone. And I didn't want to just get sponsored with anybody because, you know, it's really tough to uh, promote a product if you don't believe in the product. So I really wanted to do something with someone I believed in. And honestly, there was actually only two companies that I ended up approaching, both companies that I believed in. And in the end, I ended up going with C4 Energy. I mean, they do have great products. And if you've watched my channel from the beginning or from from at least two years ago, you'll know that I've reviewed almost every single C4 product that they have, or for the energy drinks, and I've liked almost 100% of their stuff, maybe 95%, 98%, but they've had good drinks the whole way through, and those weren't even sponsored videos. So it's really easy to promote something that you believe in. Some people would say you're going above and beyond selling the product, but the truth is I don't even consider it selling the product because it's actually a product that I use. I think it's great. I want you guys to use it and I can help you save money if you do decide to use it. Now, I've actually had a long standing relationship with C4. Believe it or not, they were actually the very first company to offer me a sponsored video. So let's flash back to 2019, June of 2019. My channel had only been around for about eight months, and in that eight months time, I was able to grow my channel to 8,000 subscribers. It was around that time that I had actually started looking into uh, how to actually make money on YouTube. Besides just having it as a hobby for a channel, I wanted to see what the next steps were gonna be to actually start to make it profitable, because YouTube itself doesn't really pay you a lot of money. So in my research, I found that you could actually start doing sponsored videos. <laughs> and listen, I was a noob at this. I didn't really know how it worked, but I tried it out with the first company that contacted me. And the first company to contact me was actually C4. They asked if I was interested in reviewing their product and I gave them my sales pitch to which they said, yeah, sure, we'll pay you such and such amount for the video. And I was super excited. This was gonna be my first paid video and it was so easy. They didn't even like negotiate. They just said, yeah, sure, why not? And I wasn't asking for much money at all. Throw that out there. Only had 8,000 subscribers. But yeah, I was so excited. It was my first paid video, my first sponsored video, and it really went great. But at the same time, I was honest in the review. I didn't absolutely love every single drink. And there was nine drinks to taste out in that video. And they actually sent me a case of each one of the flavors. So, so I had a lot of C4 to keep me going for a while. But as always, I did an honest review. And even though I didn't love every single flavor, there were seven out of the nine flavors that got really good scores out of me. And two of them I thought were okay. And they didn't seem to have any problems with me being honest for the review. And ever since then, I've continued to work with them. And every time they've come out with a new product, they've sent it to me to review. And for all those videos, I didn't get paid for any of them because, because, well, well, it's, 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 it's his caffeine man being stupid. No, 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 not stupid. But here is a sub story within the story. 
as to what happened next. I was so excited that my sales pitch worked with C4 that I naively thought I could get paid for just about every single video that I did. Uh, I know, I know, it is ridiculous, I know. But that's what I thought. I was new. What do you want from me? I was delusional as to what I could actually make on YouTube. And I quickly found out how sorely mistaken I was because, because the next company that approached me told me where to go and how to get there, how nice of them, I must say, directions and everything. And this actually happened one or two times more than I would have liked to happen. And then I realized, you know what, these are small companies and they didn't really want to pay for the advertising. And, I, and listen, I wasn't asking for a lot of money. Let's, let's put it this way. My videos normally take about 10 hours-ish on average, sometimes shorter, sometimes longer, to prep them, make them, and edit them. And I was asking for just about minimum wage to make that video that's going to be on my channel for, for as long as my channel is around, which is going to be decades. That's, that's advertising for decades for a small amount of money. But they didn't really want to hear that. And then there was this one company that you guys might have seen the video. There was one company that uh, they came to me and said, we'd love for you to review our product. I gave them my sales pitch and then I never heard back from them at all. So I wrote back to them and said, oh, there must have been a misunderstanding. That was just a request for a fee for my time. If you don't want to do that, that's perfectly fine. I'm more than happy to receive the drinks and review them anyway. I thought that would have been enough to get me the drinks, but they ignored me again. And then I actually sent them social media DMs. I actually emailed them on the side. I emailed them uh, to the company directly through their website as opposed to the person I was contacting with. And I could not get in touch with anybody. It was like I was blacklisted and nobody from that company would talk to me. And I mentioned it in my video. And then ever since that happened, I realized, listen, I have a review channel it's what I do if I ask people to pay me for the reviews and they say no well, well what am I gonna do ultimately I realized that this is a review channel and I'm not gonna get paid for my reviews I, I wouldn't have a channel so I decided at that point that no matter what I wasn't gonna charge any companies for reviews because it is a review channel it didn't make sense to charge people and why would I charge certain companies and then not charge others it didn't seem like it was fair so the very next time after that first video that I did, that C4 contacted me and said, hey, we loved your video, we have a new product, would you like to do it again? We'll offer you X dollars. I said, I would love to do it, but you know what? Hold on to your money, I'm not charging for videos anymore. So that being said, what do you guys think? Was that the right decision? Because my wife didn't think so and other people didn't think so because I was passing up on free money, but it just didn't seem like it was gonna be fair to everybody. Now. Fast forward to 2021, present day times, and I'm looking for a sponsorship. Well, obviously, I love to work with C4, but the question I asked to my wife was the question, why would C4 pay me if I'm already doing all the videos for free anyway? Didn't make sense to me. To which she responded, that's what companies do. And I was like, well, yeah, I mean, that's what companies do. They, they sponsor channels. But I kept falling back on the question, why would C4 pay me if they haven't had to pay me this whole time? To which she responded, that's what companies do. Just contact them and see what they say. It can't hurt. As they say, behind every great man is a great woman who does not like to be on camera. As you already know, that conversation did happen and it worked out. That is the story of how all this went down. So let's get into the third section of this video. As a small YouTuber, sponsorship is what we all lead up to. It shows that your small channel might not be as small as you thought it was because these companies value your opinion. And not only do they value your opinion, they see that you have a certain amount of subscribers that also value your opinion, which is valuable to them. But usually it is a long road to get to that point. At first, as a review channel, you are more than happy to be able to get someone to send you their drinks for free in exchange for an honest review. They might give you a coupon code, but that is not an affiliate link. There is no commission involved in that. That is just a coupon code to help save your viewers some money. Once you start growing as a channel, then some other companies might give you the product for free as well as offer you an affiliate link so that everyone that actually purchased the product from your video, you can actually get a small percentage of from. And when it comes to affiliate links, there are all sorts of different companies that do affiliate links and even some companies that do ambassador programs. Those are sort of the hyped up affiliate programs. 
and usually the bigger the company, the more difficult it is to actually get an affiliate program. You usually have to have a certain look. Let's say, let's say you're someone who works out or you're someone who wears short shorts and sports tops and like to dance that foot dance that they do. And other requirements are how many people you have on social media and what your following basically is. And not everyone actually gets the ambassador program. And when it comes to those ambassador programs, they usually offer you a couple of other perks too. So you get your coupon code with a small commission from that, but then they'll usually offer you the product when it comes out, as well as maybe some merchandise to wear. And they usually ask you to do some stuff on social media as well. So it is a touch more than just an affiliate link. But sponsorship, sponsorship is the creme de la creme for your channel as being a brand. And once you hit sponsorship, there are tons of different levels of sponsorship. There is the level that I am at of sponsorship. It's, it's there somewhere, but I ain't complaining. But then it can go up and up and up to like LeBron James status of sponsorship, or even higher than that, you got Kevin Hart. <laughs> yeah, I went there. But basically getting a sponsorship is a big deal for any small channel or any influencer in general. But there is also a lot that comes with a sponsorship. It's not like I'm just making a video and they're paying me to make that video. There are lots of other things involved besides making the video, but also promoting on your social media. You usually have to do it a certain amount of times. You have to keep track of the sales, make sure you're promoting the sales, make sure you're promoting this, make sure you're promoting that. You gotta make sure your info is updated. You gotta look at when you're gonna be doing a giveaway, when you're not gonna be doing a giveaway, what are you gonna be giving away? And the amount of time that you put into it is a lot more than what you would normally put into it, but you're doing it because it is a sponsorship and you're also doing it to support each other. C4 is showing their support in my channel, and I am showing my support by promoting their brand. It's a team effort, really. Therefore, in short, with a sponsorship, I get paid a certain amount of money in exchange for spreading the word about C4 products and C4 in general on my YouTube channel and my social media platforms. Now, as simply stated as that is, th there can be some problems that arise with your viewers and your subscribers on your channel once you do become sponsored. As much as my main audience knows that I do honest reviews, <laughs> that audience are probably the only people that actually stayed this long for the video, so thank you. They are gonna know that I am actually giving an honest review during my sponsored video. But it is a common misconception that because a video is sponsored, it is actually a real review. They think that it's gonna be fake, that you're getting paid to talk about this product, and that you're gonna get paid from selling this product, so why wouldn't you say good stuff about it? Therefore, the review is just a fake review, and some people see that little thing that says this is a sponsored video that YouTube automatically puts on it when you mention that it is sponsored, and then they'll just click off right away, because they're not gonna believe it. Now, my terminology may be a little bit off when I say it's a common misconception, because it might not be that common of a misconception, it may actually be mostly true. It does make sense that if someone is doing a sponsored video, the person would probably say that they like it a little bit more than they normally would because one, they're getting paid to do the video and two, they're probably gonna be making a commission on the product. Therefore, if they wanna make money, they gotta say good things about the product. When you put it in those terms, it does make sense. But it doesn't make sense to me though. Well, and why doesn't it make sense to me? Because why would I say something is good only to have you purchase it, not like it, and then I lose all credibility. Now it is bad enough that, uh, that it is true that everyone has different taste buds, so not everyone is gonna like what I say is good, but in general, a lot of people do agree with my reviews, and even if I don't actually like a specific flavor, like I don't really like oranges, I usually tell you if something is a good orange, but if anything has a funky bad taste, I'm usually gonna say it has a funky bad taste anyway. But the bottom line is, I will still always give an honest review, because that's what my channel is all about. So on the surface, most of you know that I'm not gonna lie to you, and I hope that most people who watch my channel also know that I do give honest reviews. I have been saying this for just about three years now. But as my channel continues to grow and as new people start coming into my channel, they're not gonna know the history of Caffeine Man. And some of the people who come to my videos, the first video they might see could actually be a sponsored video. And they're probably gonna see that and they're gonna be like, oh, this guy says he really likes the drink, but it's a sponsored video. How can you believe that? And the only thing I can fall back on is hopefully they watch my channel Hopefully they look at some of my other reviews and hopefully they can find it somewhere in themselves to believe what I have to say. I use the rest of the videos on my channel as proof to back me up. 
And in accordance with the FCC and the YouTube AdSense guidelines, you are supposed to announce and click on a little button in your video when you're actually doing a sponsored video. Some of you may have seen it that if you're watching a sponsored video, there'll be a little thing that YouTube puts up there that says this contains sponsored or paid promotion, but a lot of you might not have seen it because a lot of people actually don't click on that button because they have that little thing that pops up from YouTube and it's just a turn off. Because like I said, when you see a sponsored video, you don't think it's gonna be legitimate. So a lot of people don't click that button and there are still a lot of influencers out there that don't even say that they're affiliated with a company. And there have been numerous cases where bad things can happen. And I don't want anything bad happening to my channel, but they could demonetize that video or they could demonetize your channel or they could shut down your channel altogether. It has happened because you broke the rules. The problem is there are a lot of people that don't know the rules and not to point out any certain group of people, but, but the G fuelers, they're kind of known for that. The G fuelers, they're gamers. They're a bit young and they may not know the rules. And they probably just think that of course, everyone knows that we're sponsored by G fuel. That's all that we review. But if you don't say that the people that are paying for ads on your channel, don't really know that. So me, I do like to follow the rules. So anytime you watch any of my C4 videos where I'm actually reviewing a product, you'll probably see that little thing that comes up that says this contains paid promotion because it's required by the FCC and the YouTube AdSense guidelines. When that happens, I know certain people aren't going to believe what I say about the drink, but I have to accept it and deep down know that I am staying true to my channel and will always do an honest review. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it, especially for this very long winded video, but I do want to give everyone an overview as to what sponsorship actually is, what it means to me, what it means for you guys, and really just get everything out into the open, clear transparency as to what's going to be going on with my channel. Nothing's going to be changing at all. You're just going to occasionally see maybe an additional video each month on C4, as well as a couple of posts of C4 on my social media. And you may actually see a little bit more of that coming up in the next couple of weeks, just because I jumped in to this sponsorship right around the time that they are starting to do a new global marketing campaign. So they're asking all the influencers to put stuff on their social media and stuff. So you'll probably see a bunch of C4 stuff coming up, but I'm definitely not the type of person that likes to shove my sponsorship down people's throats because that can definitely be a turnoff. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you guys have any questions whatsoever about sponsorship or anything I said in this video, definitely leave me a comment down below. Love talking to you guys and appreciate all your support. So until next time, have yourselves a great day or night.